So you found the perfect image, but it's too small of a size or low resolution and it won't work for your needs. Well, in the past, that usually meant trying to find a different image, but now using AI upscalers, you can take that image, make it a higher resolution without losing your quality and making sure that you have the exact image for your needs. Today, I'm gonna to show you just how easy it is to upscale your images with AI using software called Gigapixel. Gigapixel is a powerful AI image upscaler developed by Topaz Labs that can improve the quality of your images by up to 600% without reducing quality. It uses machine learning to enhance details and textures, making it ideal for prepping images for print. Gigapixel is especially effective for upscaling low resolution images, especially portraits of people, focusing on enhancing facial details. One of the really nice things about Gigapixel as well is that you can try it out for free before you buy the product. So to check it out, we'll just go to Topaz Labs website and we'll go to Gigapixel. Here they'll show you a lot of information about the piece of software so you can check it out for yourself, as well as the system requirements. So here we can see the minimum requirements to run Gigapixel. Notably, you'll wanna have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM and at least four gigabytes of video RAM if you're using an Nvidia card or an AMD card. If you're using an Intel Mac, here are your requirements that you wanna use for that. Still, you'll wanna stick at least to 16 gigabytes of RAM and two gigabytes of video RAM. And if you're on a Mac OS Silicon machine, at least eight gigabytes of system memory. Now those are just the minimum specs. The recommended specs are a little higher and if possible using a machine with 32 gigabytes of RAM will give better results as well as eight gigabytes of video memory as well for your graphics. If you're able to meet the recommended specs, you have better results with Gigapixel. But if you are hitting those minimum specs, you can still try the software out. Now, as I mentioned before, you can download and try Gigapixel for yourself before making a purchase. And to do that, we'll go up here and click the menu at the top of the screen. And then I'll go to downloads. From here, you can download Topaz Lab software and we can see Gigapixels right here. And then you can choose if it's for Mac or Windows and you can install it. Now, when you first open Gigapixel, if you don't have a valid license for it, this window is gonna pop up and ask you if you wanna activate the software or buy a license. But this is where we can choose to do a free demo and we can still try out the software ourselves. So I'll go ahead and click free demo. Now, once Gigapixel is installed, if we're using a free trial, we can see at the top, it'll say trial mode, and this will limit it so we can't save our images, but you can still try out the software and see how it works for you. Now using Gigapixel is pretty easy, and all we have to do first is browse for an image to upload. So for here, we can see I uploaded the picture of this bird, and here's our original image over here on the left. Over here on the right, it's gonna show us our upscaled image based on our parameters that we choose. Down here at the bottom, you're gonna see our image information. So we can see our scale options, the original size of it, and our AI model we're using. Over here, we have our resize mode and our output size. So we have options for one times, two times, four times, six times, and you can set a custom amount. If I could change this to 4X, I could change this to 6X, 1X, and so on. And you can see that it shows us in real time the effects of the resizer. Over here, an important thing to look at is the AI model. So this is where you can choose which AI model you want the software to use. There's the standard, high fidelity, low res version two, art and CG, low res, recovery lines, and text and shapes. We have other settings down here for our image, such as being able to sharpen it, denoise, and fix compression. And then you have toggles for face recovery and gamma correction over here on the right. To get the best results out of Gigapixel, you'll wanna know which AI model you'll wanna use at any given time. Each one serves a specific purpose for specific types of photographs. So it's important to understand which one you should use based on the kind of photo you're looking to upscale. What's great though is that we can just click around here and see which ones work best. So right now we're using standard, but if we wanna to go to art and CG, we can see how that affects the image itself. Each one's gonna have a drastic change on how the image looks. So if we go to low res version two, you can see that it's got a more of a soft effect, especially down here on these feathers versus our CG, it's gonna assume that it is artwork. So it'll add these brush strokes in here. What's cool though, is since we can see these in real time, you can play around to see which one's best for the image that you're using. Then if you wanna export the image when you're done, down here on the bottom right, there's an option to export your image. So to show another example, I've got this image of this car that I pulled in and the image itself is pretty small here, only at 600 by 321 pixels. So if we were to blow this up larger, it's gonna lose a lot of its resolution. We can see that if we change our output up to two times or four times, you can see a big loss in clarity in the image. So let's, for instance, go to four times. And if we look over here at the original image, you can see it gets really blurry when it gets larger like this. But you can see when I change this to the high fidelity option, we maintain a lot of the image's clarity over here versus the original image. You can see here, it doesn't get as blurry or pixelated and you can make out exactly what this is. Even if we go up to six times, we're able to maintain a lot of the image's original clarity, making this usable at larger resolutions. We can see the same thing for this image of this bass guitar. If we were to blow this up to six times, it loses a lot of the fidelity of the image. But with Gigapixel, we can see that we can maintain a lot of this image sharpness. So for instance, over here on the fretboard where it's completely pixelated and blown out, 
It maintains a lot of this image here so we can see exactly what this is. And we can scrub along and see just how powerful that is. And this is another one where using different AI models will give you big different results. So for instance, if I choose the art and CG model, this makes it a little more artistic, but it maintains a lot of the clarity, especially on these guitar strings down here on the fretboarding. Even the wood grain, we keep a lot of the grain of the original image. You can really notice a bigger difference when you go into larger upscale resolutions, such as four and six times, where it just maintains a lot of that clarity. Now, if you wanna see some more awesome examples of Gigapixel and how it can upscale your images, go down into the video description below. I'll leave a blog article down there for you to check out. It's going to go more in depth on some settings you can use with Gigapixel and show some great examples of how they work. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Before you go though, make sure you check out some of our other content and I'll see you in the next one.